Do you believe that the stock of Tesla is now collapsing? It appears that some do, though. Unquestionably, in recent months, the stock market has become more unstable. Some people think that the price of Tesla stock is collapsing and will keep falling. You would not want to overlook this information. In less than 20 days, the price of Tesla shares has dropped by more than 20%. That's due to a number of factors. But a recent catalyst is making the decline more pronounced. A few days prior on. October 5th, the stock was down 5.4% at its morning lows in trade. Others, however, claim that Tesla's foundations have altered. This is based on the fact that the NASDAQ 100 is up 2.27% and Tesla is down more than 8.6%. Particularly for retail traders who were strong proponents of Tesla stock, this gave consumers reason to believe. They support the price of Tesla and until recently have helped Tesla outperform the NASDAQ 100 index year to date, which accounts for a large portion of the volume in Tesla stock. Some though believe that is no longer the case. Others aren't quite ready to concede that Tesla's unwavering success has come to an end rather. It has simply changed somewhat. A move that many anticipate will benefit the business and its stock price. A Tesla devotee claims that there are three main causes for the stock's current decline, or at the very least for the apparent. Negative changes in the company's value. Prior to continuing, Mumu created a new role known as the industrial chain. Let's say you wish to discover which stocks might change over the next several days or months. You will greatly benefit from the industrial chain. It offers a thorough overview of the hottest sectors, such semiconductors and electric vehicles, finding stocks quickly, either upstream or downstream, allows you to concentrate on industry target groups more rapidly. Additionally, since segments and industries are related, you could forecast price changes more quickly without having to read a lot of research papers to understand the relationships inside a single industry. Description contains a link. One of the three main explanations seems to be that the market's expectations for Tesla might not be accurate at all. It is well known that the electric vehicle firm fell short of estimates by roughly 5%. You need to be familiar with what Tesla calls the delivered to produced ratio in order to fully comprehend this issue. It is quite simple to comprehend. For instance, divide the 240,000 delivered units by the total number of units created in Q3 of 2021. This indicates a delivered to produced ratio of 100.8 percent, meaning that 240,000 automobiles have been delivered, which is actually more than the 238,000 units that were built. Now, if the figure exceeds 100, it indicates that the business is shipping more cars than it has manufactured. That ratio is 101 in Q4 2021, indicating once more that they have delivered more cars than they have manufactured. It demonstrates that the number of cars you sell is a function of manufacturing. There is a ratio of 101.5% as of Q1 2022. It is evident that the corporation is delivering more than they are generating as the figures increase in the subsequent quarters used as an example. To put it plainly, deliveries are well behind production. For the past few quarters, this has been the situation. That indicates significant excess demand in addition to supply chain bottlenecks. Going forward to Q2 of this year, Tesla produced 258,000 units, which was significantly less than expected due to the shutdowns in Shanghai. Nevertheless, the business produced more cars than it delivered. That represents the first departure from the company's trend of results during the previous few quarters. Still, 98.5% is the delivered to. Produce ratio for the second quarter. It should be noted that the number is no longer above 100, indicating that the corporation is shipping more cars than they have manufactured. While Tesla has not yet released a financial report, it looks like production numbers are beginning to match deliveries for Q3. The firm released a press release stating that of the 365,923 vehicles produced, only 343,830 were delivered. However, from Q3 2022 to Q3 2021, production reflects a weighted growth rate of 53%. It does, however, demonstrate a significant discrepancy between the number of vehicles produced and those that were ultimately delivered. Tesla actually only delivered 94% of their production. This has turned into an outright reverse of what Tesla has always struggled with. Experts have long noted that Tesla's inability to create enough cars to meet demand has been the company's main issue. Now that things seem to have turned around, the market seems worried that the oversupply of Tesla is coming to an end and that the backlog of deliveries is actually gone rather than just decreasing. Some people think Tesla is making an increasing number of vehicles, but no one is purchasing them. 
Some worry that Tesla isn't a product that can sell millions of units annually anymore. There are worries about this even in the streets. Their concern now lies not in the company's inability to meet demand, but rather in the possibility that Tesla will create cars and no one will be available to purchase them. That's the worry, particularly in the context of what is probably a worldwide recession. The ratio dropping to 94 from over 100 delivered to produced ratios during the previous few months is probably a warning sign to the markets. However, Tesla maintains that this is the result of what they refer to as a logistics nightmare. The corporation has manufactured more automobiles than it has ever done at a growth rate of 53%, so this does not necessarily go against its growth trajectory. Most supporters of Tesla agree that the company made a wise decision in delaying deliveries in order to reduce costs. There is a lot of demand for Teslas. And enthusiasts think the company is doing the right thing by maintaining its margins, especially at a time when currency exchange fees will likely have a significant impact on them rather than delivering the vehicles for an additional cost just to meet their target numbers. Thus, with regard to issue number one, based on information gleaned from Wall Street and Bloomberg Finance News, as well as from Twitter, it appears that Tesla still has a backlog of over 300,000 orders worldwide. Thus, there is unquestionably no shortage of demand. Furthermore, supporting this is the reality that lead periods for cars still exist that go beyond simple supply chain or battery limitations. The currency issue is indicated by the second issue. According to the Q2 data, just 55% of Teslas are really sold in the United States today. It would appear that Tesla has to increase that figure since if more cars are sold in the US, there won't be a significant US dollar problem. If more automobiles are sold in the US, the high dollar. Dan Ives believes he may sell an additional $2 billion or $3 billion worth of Tesla stock. But stockholders of Tesla have other worries as well. After seizing control of Twitter, Musk now has to guide a business he repeatedly accused of having funny accounts and providing inaccurate reporting data. He may have to deal with lost advertising and other revenue streams as a result of this. To be fair, investors are worried that he.